Okay, so what I have here is a the white is steel and there's 30 gauge down below. 30 gauge magnet wire. So what I did was I took two strands and I wrapped them around the coil. All the way around. This is the Ultra Flow Easy Flow audio cable. Many fine wires. Many, many fine wires down there. There's 70 strands in there. And so I Mobius them, connect them. Um, I did the magnet wire around, out to the steel, around, into the, the core of the collector, whatever you want to call it, and back out. Now, there's a lot of windings on this one compared to these little guys that I did before. These were anywhere from 7 up to 15 megahertz. This guy here is holding it at 1.4 megahertz in the self-oscillation. The yellow is what on the gate of the, of the FET and the red behind it is what's on the coil. Uh, what's on what's on the coil? Uh, they're both. Uh, it's about 200k off between the first one and the second one as the scope reads. But the scope might be screwing up. This is a pretty high frequency. And the meters on the big power supply I've got with 140 volts across the coil is not reading correctly either. And the amperage is way off the scale as far as the reading goes. But everything's running cold as tip as normal. Um, Just off the coil from ground to top of the coil, I'm reading uh, 37 volts, but I'm putting 140 volts in. Not a big power factor no. fantasy there, but the idea was to put more windings into the into the stream, so to speak, and let the self oscillation do what its thing. Do what its thing. Do its thing. Um, so the more windings you have, you bring the you can bring the micro you can bring the self oscillation frequency down. This is um, higher inductance level than my other little ones. My other little ones had uh, gaps in them. These, um, you know, you can call it a gap. But it's pretty small, but not as uh, effective or have an effect on the on the operation as the wider ones do, which is just less windings. So what I'm going to, and I've used square waves on this one too. And on my my Don Smith coil over my collector, the, what he calls the collector, uh, it's uh, through the air. I'm picking up uh, 27 volts uh, through the air, charging these caps up. I just leave that out there. I hooked it up to this to my little isolated scope, and I just take readings to see what this side of the circuit picks up. Um, Normal terminology would call it side of the circuit, this side of the circuit, but it's just a set of coils out there, just off in the distance that I use to take readings on to see what the um, see what shows up. Two coils, they're wrapped in series. Uh, they go to a microwave capacitor, and then they go to a um, thousand thousand microfarad. That's all, and through through uh, two microwave diodes, very similar to what Don Smith had in his, his collector part of his circuits. So, this is what I have so far. And this is a steel, and this is copper. So this gives me a, a bias field from the latency of when the coils, when the copper stops. The copper stops, then the steel stops. The copper stops, then the steel stops. So the field is there a little bit longer in the steel for the copper to actuate, actuate on. Now, because I have one coil winding going inside of another, it, it's very much like a Tesla pancake coil. Not flat with the field doing this, but the field going around, going around this way inside inside the wi wrappings. That's what I have. Now, so that's what I have today. Um, I will uh, continue on with this. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to wrap some more small ones, wrap some more itty bitty ones up, but I'm going to put the same parameters as these guys. This is copper, 26 gauge copper. I'm going to do the same parameter, I'm sorry, 22 gauge. This is um, 
I'm sorry, it's 26. I'm going to duplicate these guys with steel around the copper. And that'll be a single winding. I could also then take and do a, um, I can match these with a bifiler winding of steel and copper, similar to this one, but with this very, very low inductance going on. I'll still get a magnetic field, but I'll have lower inductance. And the frequency, the oscillating frequency, should run a lot higher. Whoops, sorry. Anyway, that's all for now.